Tonight, we heard from University of Illinois officials for the first time since their star basketball player was charged with rape. Chicago native Terrence Shannon Jr. was not at the game tonight after being suspended. Our Shannon Halligan is here with the very latest on this. Shannon? Yeah, the allegations stem from an incident when Terrence Shannon Jr. visited the University of Kansas. That was back in September. We learned more about the investigation timeline that led up to the star player's suspension. In moments like this, we have to understand that basketball must take a back seat. University of Illinois Athletic Director Josh Whitman addressed the allegations and suspension of star basketball player Terrence Shannon Jr. Prosecutors in Kansas charged Shannon Jr. with rape that allegedly occurred in September. The Chicago native had traveled to the University of Kansas for the U of I football game. Whitman said the school was aware of a police investigation involving Shannon Jr., but not much else. The inquiry was light on details. We didn't know at the time whether Terrence was the subject of the inquiry or whether he might have been a witness to some other matter that had happened in Lawrence. It was very short on specifics. Whitman said the athletic department followed the university's conduct protocol. At the time, he said the information was not enough to trigger a suspension. The allegations that were being investigated seemed to be uh, something that occurred in public in a Lawrence bar uh, where TJ interacted with a young woman uh, and uh, the allegation was that he engaged in some inappropriate touching uh, of her in the course of that interaction. Everything that we received was verbal. Uh, informal. The 23 year old was charged on December 5th and a warrant was issued for his arrest December 27th. That's when the university said they immediately suspended Shannon Jr. from all team activities. Terrence Shannon Jr.'s attorney said he is innocent and plans to take the case to trial. In the meantime, a third party student conduct panel will now review the details of the case. They will meet within 48 hours of the suspension and decide whether the suspension should stand. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.